Hi, my name is Nerissa Gerardias. I am a high school math teacher in San Jose, California. I have been using Edelastic for the last five years and I intend to keep using it. Today, I'm going to show you how I use Edelastic to create questions that elicit student thinking. Let's take a look at an example. So as you can see, I am not asking multiple choice questions, but in this question, I would like my students to discover a strategy in finding the sum of consecutive numbers. So they will answer a few basic questions. Uh, they will discover a pattern and form a conjecture and use that conjecture to uh, answer the last question here. This question also uh, provide them with visual representations of the sum of consecutive odd numbers. And then finally, they will answer this question here. In another problem, I uh, tell them a story uh, with two characters. And the problem here is about simplifying logarithms. So these uh, two characters uh, solve problems in the, the problem in different ways and the students become participants in this story. They, they get to do the same strategy that the main characters did. And then they become um, part of the story as the characters discover things and they discover them together. And then they try to see if whatever pattern they found out here uh, works for a different situation. So this is why I love Edelastic because I can be as creative as I can be in framing my questions.